Hi, welcome back to the channel. Um, this video is a follow-up to the last video that I did called 10 Pieces to the Puzzle. Uh, first, I want to thank everybody that commented on the video. Um, very good, thoughtful, thorough comments. I'm definitely going to follow up with a part two or three um, to explore some of the um, facts that may not have been as clear as I wanted them to be and just to add some new information that I found through the comment section. Um, another thing that I want to um, say before we get started is when we comment, you need to back it up. We need as much receipts as possible. We need links, screenshots, quotes, as much detail as possible that you can remember to support your argument. That's the only way that we're going to respectfully debate back and forth, right? That's the only way we're going to keep it constructive and keep building. This is not going to be a channel where there's just a lot of random information because my brain just does not, I don't work like that, you know, and if I want to look up what you're talking about and you don't have anything for me, you're not directing me to another video or anything, then it's kind of like a waste, right? So I do appreciate all of the thorough and thoughtful comments, but we do need to step it up a notch and start providing receipts, okay, so that we can really focus on uncovering the truth, right? Um, if I say something is a fact and you say something is not a fact, we need to clear that up. I need something you can give me where I can look it up so that I can either come back and correct myself or come back and correct you because this channel is about uncovering the truth, right? So um, keep that in mind. Um, in this video, when I looked at the comments, there was a main theme that I found. I found that people were choosing to um, feel like they have to choose between whether she was assaulted by the friends or whoever was at the party in room 926 or hotel staff insecurity. And this video is just about opening up your mind to the possibility that it could have absolutely been both. What we've uncovered in one area doesn't change anything or contradict anything, um, any other information that we found, right? Truth is the truth, that's it, right? Um, it doesn't change because you found something else out, right? So keep that in mind. She could have absolutely been drugged and assaulted in room 926, tried to run from them and ran into the wrong people. Um, so I want to put that out there and the next video will be more focused on the lobby and the front desk because I feel like that's another theme where people were going to the lobby front desk area. So we're definitely going to do a full video covering all that good stuff. But like I said, um, about this idea that it could have been both, I brought receipts, <laughs> So I watched this, um, this show called Evil Twins. And I watched like every episode because I'm crazy. So um, there was like, I, I forget, like mostly all those episodes, but there was one episode that absolutely stood out to me because these twins were absolutely evil. And in the beginning of the episode, these like twins are like hiding in a park and some girl was like raped and they watched it and when the guys were done the twins violated her so this was an example of in one night this one girl being abused assaulted raped by two totally separate groups of people that had nothing to do with each other Okay, now this, I've seen it on TV, but this is based on a true story. And I looked up the story. This is, um, let me see if I can get it to focus. How do we do that? Okay. Is it going to focus? Okay. Um, this is from the Baltimore Sun, 
I got it from newspapers.com. This article was written Tuesday, May 18th, 1993. Okay. Um, I can figure out how to get it more clear or I'll send you the link in case you want to get it. You can get a seven day free trial on this um, website and you can pull up the article yourself. Um, but this is what the newspaper looked like that day. And this is the article down here where it says twin gets life without parole for murder. Okay. So this is the true story that the episode was based on. So I blew it up so that I can actually read it because it's very small. Um, so the article talks a lot about um, them being charged, um, but at the at the um, okay. I don't want to, I just don't feel like reading the whole article, but right here it says, Assistant State's Attorney Scott D. Schellenberger said both brothers were convicted and given three year sentences in 1974 for battery. So they were being charged in 1993 for murder, but this is about the 1974 for battery. They had watched the gang rape of a woman abducted from Columbia and taken to Hallithorpe. Afterward, Tyrone Page carried the victim off and fondled her. That case is almost identical to the situation here. They were literally learning their crime. So they um, they they basically started um, assaulting assaulting people when they were young, and they just kept escalating till they eventually started murdering people. But this right here is the portion that relates to the episode that I watched where they watched the girl get gang raped and then they went and assaulted her. Okay. So I want you just to keep an open mind that, I mean, it's hard to understand how one girl can get assaulted by two different groups of people in one night. It's, it's almost unreal, but this is, this is proof that this can happen. Okay, and it has happened before. Um, so I just want you to keep that in mind as we move forward that you don't have to choose between the people at the party and the hotel staff and security. Whatever we find out is just whatever we find out. We just have to put the truth on the table. We don't, we don't need to let anybody off the hook until they've absolutely been eliminated until we find evidence that they're telling the truth that their story is checking out that they're actually you know for Kanika we don't need to eliminate anybody right um so I wanted to put that out there and I will follow up with a video we're going to talk about the front desk and the lobby next if you have any receipts um specifically pertaining to Kanika being seen at the front desk or lobby Drop it in the comments so that I could be sure to include your perspective in the next video. I will talk to you soon, and thank you for supporting. Bye-bye.